Hey everyone! Welcome to today's exciting challenge for you to discover engineering. We're diving into the world of mechanics and biomedical engineering. Mechanics is all about how things move, and biomedical engineering combines engineering, medicine, and biology to improve people's health. Prosthetics are one of the oldest and I think the most mind-blowing inventions from biomedical engineers. Prosthetics can be internal or external devices. Their job is to help a person's body work better or replace missing parts, like a hand. And the key to building a prosthetic hand is to understand the mechanics of real human hands. So today, the challenge is to make our very own mechanical hand. To build your hand, you could use some or all of these items, flat cardboard, cardstock, cardboard tubes, and straws. The bigger the straws, the better. Use a fine tip marker to cut the paper or cardboard into a hand shape. Your hand will also need tendons, which are the cords that connect muscles to bones. Your tendons could be made of string, yarn, heavy-duty thread, or twine. To assemble everything, you'll need scissors, tape, and glue. You can also brainstorm your designs with a sketch pad. Now let's go over our success criteria. Your hand must have four fingers and a thumb, and they all must be able to bend and straighten at joints. The joint placement needs to match where joints are on real human hands. And your design can only use the materials we listed but it doesn't have to match the size of a real human hand. A larger hand might be easier to work with. Let's get to engineering. I have not really thought about what goes into making my hand move. What about you? I mean, I think there are obviously muscles and bones, but like what else? What else is, it? yeah. Um, mm -hmm. They have to move, so I assume joints. Well, on the topic of joints, examining your hands, how many joints do you think you have? I think that these fingers, the, like our average fingers have three, and then our thumbs are a little special with two. But I feel like the straws mm -hmm. can act as the bones between the joints. So like, and then, mm -hmm. yeah, when the paper, when the cardstock paper moves, I think that kind of acts as the joints. Yeah. I think apart from those parts of our hand, there's also a very special tissue called a tendon. Mm -hmm. Do you know about a tendon? Not much, but I do think they're like what helps the joints move back and forth. So tendons connect bone to muscle, and I think the strings would be perfect for that since they're connecting the straws, the bones, to the muscle, kind Which of the cardstock. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get started? Yep. There's three joints on each finger. We'll need about, I can't math, 12. <laughs> 12 <laughs> and then two for two, the thumb, so 14. 14. We're using the engineering design process to build our mechanical hand. This process is all about brainstorming, testing, and improving your ideas. Don't expect to build the perfect hand on your first try. Figuring out what doesn't work in your design is super helpful to determine how to make your next one better. This is starting to look like a skeleton. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. I think we've done a great job so far. Do you want to see if we can pick something up and see if it works? Like a yes. hand? Yes. Okay. Maybe this? Yeah, it's nice let's and light. This. Okay. Let's give it a try, the moment of truth. I'm gonna treat it like an actual hand. Okay. Yay! Did it. Yes. Looks like we have a third arm. <laughs> And there you have it. We used the engineering design process to create our very own mechanical hand. That was a really fun activity. So let's recap. Okay, so starting off, we kind of recognize the different parts of our own hand and how mm -hmm. we could mimic those in our mechanic hand. So we, we started had- with our joints, mm -hmm. and then our tendons, and our muscles, and our bones. Mm -hmm. So we used the straw as bone, and mm -hmm. then the paper kind of acts as muscles, muscles yeah. contracting, and the most important part, the tendons, mm -hmm. which we used string for, and they connect the bone to the muscle, allowing our hand to move. That helps it to move, yeah. Move. If we were to make another prototype, I would make the bones smaller to make the gaps in between wider so that the fingers could like bend easier. Mm -hmm. I think that was the main problem with our first prototype, so it's definitely something we can improve on in the future. In the yep. Thanks for joining us. Now, are you ready to try your hand at building a mechanical hand? We can't wait to see what you come up with. Make sure to share your creations with us on Facebook or Instagram at discovere.org. What other engineering challenges would you like to see us try? Leave us a comment below. And while you're there, hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe to see more. Bye. Bye. Ha <laughs> <laughs> huh.
ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, what no, I do with my brothers. Oh, wait, let me just. <laughs>